Hello, Whitefish Bay Middle School. Hope this finds you well, enjoying these last few weeks of, of summer. Wanted to just drop in real quick today uh, to talk a little bit about homeroom. You might have noticed on your schedules uh, that you have a zero hour and a homeroom listed. Uh, and maybe that's with a teacher you might not even have. Maybe you don't know who they are. Um, so I just wanted to take this opportunity to preview a bit for you uh, this great opportunity for, for our students. And I'll certainly be following up as the year goes on with, with more information about, uh, about how things are going. Um, but essentially, homeroom is something that we were talking about as a middle school well before the pandemic. And the, the craziness of the last 18 months has just really elevated the importance of this time. Uh, homeroom was something we dabbled in a little bit last year. We had this structure in place in kind of a beta version. Uh, but So this will be our first real launch year of, of, this, of the structure. And we just learned a ton last year. But essentially, as we came together as a staff, we crafted a, a purpose statement for this time. And what it boils down to is that homeroom should be a, a safe space for every single child and where they really know that their voice is heard and amplified. We also want to focus on relationships and how to be in relationship with each other in, in a respectful and supportive way. And third, this gives homeroom gives us an opportunity to focus on social emotional learning skills that are so valuable for, for everyone, but particularly adolescents. Things like how to listen actively or how to set and achieve goals for yourself, um, how to respond to emotions that you're feeling in an appropriate way. So homeroom provides an opportunity for us to do all of these things. And the key to a great homeroom is a really great advisor. My hope would be that by the end of the school year, that every student feels like their advisor has got their back, they're in their corner, and it's a trusted adult that they can turn to uh, for whatever their needs might be uh, here at school. To help us accomplish this, we'll use a structure called the Circle of Power and Respect, something that we were beginning to utilize last year uh, in our homerooms. This predictable structure uh, every day allows us to meet the adolescent needs of autonomy, fun, uh, relationship, and competence. So kids will know what to expect every day. Things will look a little bit different uh, within the content, but the structure is the same and it'll help us to meet those needs. We're currently in the process of writing a curriculum uh, for each of the three grade levels. Uh, but what I can tell you right now is that the first unit is going to be the same across the building, and that's all going to be about trust and connection as we come back to school, as we reacclimate to to school, or perhaps it's the first time kids have ever been uh, to the middle school, we really want to focus on building community and a sense of identity for the group, uh, this homeroom group that they'll be in. So we'll be supporting and teaching uh, group behaviors and dynamics. Uh, we'll be supporting positive and, and respectful interactions. And we really hope that kids grow in their knowledge and understanding and respect uh, for each other during this opening unit. As the year goes on, you know, we'll always be sharing information before a new unit starts in homeroom just to give you a sense of some of the things that we'll be working on and that we hope that kids will be bringing home and wanting to, to talk about their experiences with you when they get home. Also, I hope to do some uh, video recording of a, of a homeroom, a live homeroom, so that you can see what it looks like beyond just me just, uh, you know, describing it to you. So I'll be looking to share some of that in the future. We believe that this is a really powerful strategy for us to help meet our goal of having every single child feel a, a high sense of belonging here at the middle school. Um, it's something we value quite a bit, and I, I know our, our community values that as well. So we're going to be working really hard, and, and Homeroom will help us to do that. As you go along, have, should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your child's uh, Homeroom teacher, uh, or I'd be happy to answer any questions that I can as well. Until we talk next week, have a great day. Bye-bye.